So gaming, pretty dumb. But if you're at work, stuck on a consumer platform or an older workstation that's holding back your productivity, by all means, pick up a scribe driver and write a polite memo to procurement to ask for one of these babies. But with that said, if you're already on last gen Threadripper, even though this chip is just a drop-in replacement, unless you need the extra PCIe lanes or specifically more memory bandwidth, it might not be worth the expense. Or is it? An example where you might really benefit from a Threadripper 9000 would be AI and machine learning. While there is no NPU or neural processor on this thing, or even an integrated GPU at all, let's be real. If you're spending this kind of money on a workstation, it's not to run AI on your stupid CPU. It's to take advantage of all those PCIe lanes to run as many GPUs as possible to form a little local supercluster and then let those chew up your inference models. For funsies, we did run some quick Procyon AI computer vision tests on the CPU and as expected, it's not for that. It actually even lost to our 9950X3D probably because of higher latency between the CPU memory modules and also the lower boost frequency. It actually even lost to a GTX 1060, a $300 GPU from 2016. But when you've got 80 PCIe Gen 5 lanes, you're gonna be hooking up quad 5090s or even workstation grade cards, which is gonna make our 1060 look like a bad joke. So we agree with AMD's assessment that Threadripper 9000 is good for AI, Yes. It's just more as a supporting cast member. Yeah, like me. <laughs> Rather than an AI compute star. <laughs> but Not <enough>. like you. <laughs> it's not an AI compute star. What does star. this even mean? I don't know. Let's see how fast it runs 